The last 12 months has been a daunting period for our citizens, our businesses and our governments. It has been a year of major economic challenges on both sides of the Atlantic. It has been a year in which we have seen the continuing march of emerging nations as they take their place among the world's leading economies. And it has been a year in which both the EU and the US have had to sharpen our efforts both separately and in cooperation to respond to these challenges. What efforts am I referring to? Well, I'm talking about the moves we're making to increase our competitiveness and the actions we're taking to place innovation at the center of our policies, most importantly, at the heart of our economic agenda. We're creating the conditions that you need to help your businesses grow while seeking to break the link between wealth creation and the depletion of resources and environmental degradation. That's why when I read the reports of President Obama's State of the Union address, I noted with great interest the striking parallels with the speech President Barroso gave back in September of last year and the provisions of the European Union Innovation Flagship Initiative. A clear case of mutual learning, one might say. They certainly see eye to eye when it comes to what it will take to produce high quality, new jobs and sustainable growth. Well, one of the most important things we're doing is working to drastically reduce the framework conditions for business, creating a single market for innovation. By moving to adopt the European patent, we'll make it easier, quicker and cheaper for you to protect your intellectual property. By reforming the European standardization system, we will make it faster and more efficient to create standards, especially in the ICT sector. By lifting legal and administrative hurdles, we will ease access to venture capital funds, including across borders within the EU. I want to combine your ideas with those of the European Commission to define strategies that go from research to market uptake and to take account of non-technological innovation, including innovation in design, marketing, public sector innovation and social innovation. It is easy to become complacent about our relationship. I've heard it likened to one between an old married couple, of which I'm one half, who have been together for so long that they very often neglect their bond, forgetting their importance to each other and taking each other for granted. I prefer another metaphor. I think of the EU and the US as a pair of climbers. We're scaling the steep cliff of growth towards greater prosperity while battling against harsh economic crosswinds. We're competitors because we're trying to outdo each other as we climb, but we're harnessed to each other through strong economic links. We're tied to one another like real climbers often are. If one lags too far behind, this impedes the other's progress. If one should fall off the cliff face, we will most likely tumble together. So it makes sense to collaborate even as we compete. We can do better together than we can do apart. We can find good examples of where we need to work together in the areas up for discussion here today. Nanotechnologies and data governance in the ICT sector. In both cases, we're addressing key enabling technologies with the potential to generate new markets and hundreds of thousands of new jobs. In the case of the burgeoning area of nanotechnologies, market predictions imply a global value of up to 1.8 trillion euro by 2015. In both cases, global competition is intensifying, so it's becoming vital to create a stable and predictable environment for enterprises to invest and innovate. I see similarities too between our Innovation Union flagship initiative and the American strategy for innovation, similarities of vision and approach that we would be foolish not to exploit. To return to the analogy of the climbers, if we look to the side of us and below us, there are other climbers on the cliff. Some are close and catching up rapidly. The EU and the US can cooperate with each other and with others. Ideally, we can all ascend more quickly together 
and help each other not to lose our footing. In any case, the relationships that we build with our partners will help determine our progress on the climb to prosperity. And together, we will reach our summit. Thank you.